For the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use a model called annotation demo. I'll go and select this project, so annotation demo, and then click open. So now you can see here we have a floor plan. In the here we have some doors which are already present, whereas we have some windows which are already placed on the wall. Now, let's suppose you would like to start adding the tags. So the first step is to, which I recommend is always make a duplicate copy of your floor plan. So I can simply go to level number one, right click, go to duplicate view, and then let's go with duplicate fit detailing. And let's rename this so we can make it level floor with tag. Now, once we have created our floor plan, now our duplicated view, then switch to the floor plan, and then next, to add the tags, we have to go from architecture to annotation. So now, this time, we switch to annotation tab, and then next, from annotation, we'll go to the tag panel. In the tag panel, you will find different options to add the tag. There are some tags which you have already seen by default, so just, just like room tag which you have seen in the videos where we discussed about the room. So now basically there are two ways which we, with which we can add tag here. So one is we have tag by category and then we have tag all. Let's see what is tag by category. So when I select tag by category, it will ask me to select a object. So it will ask you click object to tag. Let's suppose I would like to select the door. So let's suppose if I go and select a door, you see, you can see a parameter called two. Similarly, we can see different parameters here. So we have different numbers are coming with different tags. So now you can see we have some tags like five, three, four, two, seven, eight, one, and so on. Now, let's cancel this, and then let's see what is the information we are going to get out of this tax. So right now, one thing you are going to notice is it's showing something called a number one. So let's select this door and see what does this number correspond to. So to see this, we can select the door, and then we can go to properties. We can scroll down and see uh, identity data that is called mark one. Similar way, we can select the second door and see the mark two. And similar way, we can select other door and we can see mark six. So this marking is usually happen in a sequential order. So let's suppose if you add this door for the first time in the project, then it will marked as one. The next, if you add this door in the second time, second one, then this will act as door number two. So mark number will be sequentially added to each of the door in the order of their placement in the project. Now, let's go and see the tags for window. So let's suppose I go for tag by category again, and then you can see we have windows placed in the wall. So let's suppose I select it here, the first window, then the second, third, fourth, and let's suppose I go and select some other windows at different location. So now here you will notice something that in this case the tag number is not changing with each and every window but it is changing with the size. If you can see this size look this a bigger size right now it is having a number 18 and a window with a smaller size you can see is having a number 10. So let's go and see what does this number corresponds to in tagging. So for this, again, we can select a window, and then let's go to the properties. Now, if you notice here, we have mark, but the mark number for this window shows as mark one, whereas if I go for this one, it shows mark two, but still you will notice we cannot see this number one and two in this tagging. So what does this corresponds to? So let's check it again from the edit type. So again, I can select window, and then let's go to edit type. If I go to edit type and scroll down, you will find something called type mark as 18. 
Similarly, if I go and select a smaller window, then this will be type mark as some different number called 10. So now we will see how we can replace this parameters. So let's suppose for example in case of door we would like to change it from mark to type mark and in case of window we would like to change it from mar type mark to mark. So in order to change this or in, or in order to edit this what we can do is we can let's suppose let's go for the door option and from the door option for the door tag we can select one of the tag and then let's consider for all the doors we would like to change it for as a type mark parameter not with the mark so for this we can select a door tag and then we can go for edit family but before going to edit family what I'm going to do I like to make a duplicate copy of this tag so I can go and make it edit type and then make a duplicate copy so I can make it m door tag with type mark and then click OK and then apply now I can select this now you can see this particular tag is assigned with m door tag with type mark and the rest is assigned with m door tag so what we can do we can select all of them or let's go back better we can select one of this and then go for edit family so let's go for edit family now once you click on edit family you will see right now you are in the family creation mode for the tag now the first next what you need to do is you can see we have a sketch around and then this is a parameter or a label available for us now what is this label stands for so for this to if in order to our edit this label you can select this exterior box and then simply you can go and click on edit label so let's select edit label and then now you will notice it will show you what is the parameter used to create this tag so right now we know already it the parameter uses mark so what we can do we would like to remove this mark parameter and then we would like to add the type type mark parameter so once added you can click apply and then click OK once done you can click on load into project and then override the existing version and its parameter so now you will see I guess we have changed both of them anyways so now you can see all the doors have been assigned with type mark parameter so we can select one of this and then go to edit type and you will notice that this is type mark as 24 now one more thing what we can do is we can go and change the type mark parameter to different values like let's suppose for M single flush 915 by 2134 which is the biggest size in this kind of door the biggest type so for this let's suppose this corresponds to D1 so the type mark for this should become D1 instead of 20 so for what for this what we can do we can select the door this time and go to edit type and then go down and select the type mark and let's make it D1 and then click apply similar way we can go and change the rest so let's suppose this is going to be D2 so I can again select the door and then edit type and let's make it D2 similar way we can go and select the other one and then let's make this as D3 now we have few more remaining so let's select for the toilets edit type and this is going to be D4 and then we have the M double M door double flush then you can select edit panel and again we can make them as D5 and then we can change for the last one that is D6 So now once done you can see all of the parameters have been properly defined so we can 
later on in the coming videos when we see how we can create the schedule we can automatically calculate how many d1 type of doors are used in the project and how many d2 d3 d4 types of doors are used in the project now let's go back and change some something more so for example for the windows let's take an example you want to edit or you want to tag them in such a way it should show the its dimension so that is the height or that is the length and the width so for this what we can do again we can select the tag let's go to edit family and then you can scroll out and then you can select the exterior boundary and then let's go for edit family edit label now next this time we don't want the type mark parameter let's remove this and let's suppose this time we want the height and the or let's say its dimension so let's see what are the dimensions available so right now we have the width and the height so I can go and give select the height and add it so click apply and then OK I can select this and then just expand this now what we can do we can select this and then let's try to edit a bit and then load into project this time we can go and check all right and then load into project and then click on OK overwrite now you can see here we have the dimensions coming that is width is 915 and height is 1830 now let's suppose in order to make it look more appropriate or more correct we, we need to put a cross symbol here so how we can add this we can select it again and then let's go back to edit family select the tag again edit label and in the width let's add the suffix as space x and space and click ok now you can see uh, x will come in between now similar way I don't want this hexagonal sketch so I can select this and delete also and then we can load it into the project and then click OK and then let's override this again so now you can see all our doors have been assigned or have been tagged in such a way that it shows the width and the height of the windows so next let's go back now this time let's select it and delete all the tags so let me go back and select all of them and let's suppose this time I would like to add the tags in some other style so how we are going to do it let's go back to uh, annotate again and then here you will see there is second option that is tag all so now what does this do let's suppose you, if it is a very big project or if it is a very big plan and you don't want to go one by one then simply you can select this tag all option and tag all the doors and windows at once so let's see how we can do this we can simply go to tag all and then here you can see we have door tag so I can select the door tag and from here you can use different options so let's select M door tag and then click apply and then click OK so now you can see all the doors have been assigned with that tag at once let's go back again go to tag by cat tag all and then this time we can check mark on the leader so we can select the leader and leader length we can make it like around 6 mm and then click we can select door tag and then apply and then click OK so now you can see all the doors have been assigned with the door tag with the leader similar way we can go and mark all the windows so we can go back again tag all and then we can go for windows so select all the windows leader and let's select six millimeter and then click apply and then click OK now let's suppose you would like to change it to again to mark so what we I'm going to do let me go back edit family and let's suppose this time I'm changing it back to type mark parameter so let's select type mark and add it back again and let's suppose let's add a 
sketch so we can go to line and then here I'm going to add a circular sketch can give a diameter of five, radius of 5 load it into project and then click OK so now you can see we have different when we have different type marks for each of the windows so this is how you can assign tags in Revit in our next video we will see how we can work more with the tags thank you very much